and welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 4. Alright, so last time we reached the boss of the fire dungeon. We're not going to fight him right now though, we're just going to do some farm work around town, interact with people, get some stuff done that I probably should have gone done beforehand. Also, yeah, let's get some seeds planted. But yeah, I'm probably going to do a little bit of grinding maybe before the boss. Actually, honestly, we should be okay. Either way, let's just get everything planted. I don't know why I planted them in that pattern. Oh well, these fields are already kind of a mess. Let's just get the rest of the seeds planted. Alright, so what else do I need to do today? I do want to do a bit of exploration like down south of the water ruins. Because, honestly, I probably should have done that a long time ago. I just kind of forgot. Yeah, we'll go take a look over there later. Oh, I did want to buy myself a refrigerator too. Except for the fact that no one who works here is working here. Oh, right. So, yeah, if we wanted to, we could ask him to stop waking us up. But no, you know what? It's fine. You can just keep waking me up. Do it. But, yeah, now we can just put in an order to make her, or make her, make him stop. But, yeah, uh, where is Porkline? Arthur is here. Hey, Arthur. Uh, what do you have for to trade right now? Anything good? Ooh, those gloves are actually not bad. Wolfang, eh, yam seeds for some reason. Oh, you have the monkey plush. Wood staff, yeah, honestly nothing that great. No, oh well. The pole axe is actually a really good weapon, but I can't afford it. Okay. Those gloves are also really good, but I'm pretty sure we can actually build that pretty soon. Well, I would be able to if I could get the recipe for it. Where is Porkline anyways? I don't see him on the map. Well, whatever, we'll come back later. Uh, let's just head over to the Water Ruins. So yeah, I want to explore the area down south of here. For one thing, we actually found the Summer Spring. So let's go take a look at that first. And then we'll worry about everything else. Also, while I'm here, might as well work on my Longsword skill. Or not Longsword, uh, Dual Blade skill. I should probably work on my Long Blade skill too at some point. I want to at least level up all the weapons. At least a little bit. But yeah, Summer Spring. It's just like the Autumn Spring. Except for the fact that you don't have to throw a specific item here. You can throw anything in as long as it isn't garbage. So let's just throw in some chocolate. Also, yeah, we're not getting our chocolate back. Not that I would really want it back. It's kind of soaking wet at this point. Oh well, we got a headdress in return. So, summer headdress. Oh, there it is. Summer headdress. It's just like the autumn headdress, except slightly worse. Yeah, slightly worse. It does have fire resistance, though. Which wouldn't hurt. Still, yeah, let's just keep the autumn headdress on for now. Eventually, I do want to make myself a better hat, but for now, we can just keep the headdresses. I'm not going to give it away, though. Instead, I'm going to keep it for something specific that's going to come up much, much later. Anyways, let's look around the uh, rest of the area real quick. So there is a chest down there we can get. Actually, I don't think there's very much to see down here yet. Not really. Yeah, we can't go that way. What's in here? Oh, it's Uppercut. Eh. Uppercut's like a fist ability that does well in Uppercut. It's not that great from what I remember. It's better just to, you know, hit enemies a few times and then throw them. Also, I forgot about these chests. What do we have here? A spear? Well, I could use that to level up my spearing ability. Uh, iron and bronze. This would have been very helpful early on in the game, but at this point, eh, it's free materials. Oh, also, uh, let, yeah, let's level up our spear ability a little bit. Hi, Chip Squeak. Bye, Chip Squeak. Spears are fun. They also have a pretty good range, but there are other ways to get range onto your weapons. Anyways, let's just head home. Might as well walk. Oh, did I ever look over here, actually? I don't think I have. Yes, that is true. We're not going to eat any of these mushrooms, though. And down here, yeah, it's just a mushroom forest. If I ever needed mushrooms, I could come here and grab some. But right now, meh. Let's just head back for now. I don't think there's anything I can really do at the moment. 
Also, wait a minute, I just realized, why is Porkline standing in front of the uh, town entrance? Wait, free track? Nope, that's a mimic. I'm also not very good with spears, because they don't have a very wide hitbox. But yeah, oh wait, is Porkline seriously involved in a town event right now? One second. Hi, Porkline. I'm... Yeah, I am sealed, but... Oh. Well... Thank you? Well, we got a round off. It's not really exclusive to him, but eh, free medicine. Yeah, I think Porkline's involved in a town event. Even though he's not responding to it. One second. Yep, town event is active right now. Alright, what is which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Okay. Well, let's just finish off this one so we can actually buy a refrigerator later then. All we need to do is go to the town gate. Um, on who? Isn't the rain a bad place to eavesdrop? Oh, wait. Right. Porkline's just standing outside of the town gate right now, isn't he? You know, as you do. I severe, sincerely doubt that considering she's a generic NPC model. Like, she doesn't even have her own portrait or a name. Also, this seems a little bit... I was gonna say too intimate to be a romantic thing, but that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, this sounds a little bit... This sounds interesting. But yeah, the Decenta however you pronounce that family, it's pretty much been in every single Rune Factory game. But it sounds like things are going well over there. Wherever it is. I see. What? Bye. Seriously, Illuminata, you're a detective. You can't get bored in the middle of a case. What? That's like the number one rule. Obviously. Uh, no, not really sure. Let's hear what she has to say. But yep, the Elven Kingdom. We've never seen the Elven Kingdom, have we? Oof, that's probably not the best thing to ask in a queendom. Or not. Apparently it worked. Yeah. But yeah, I do like that we learn a little bit about the world outside of this area. But yeah, I guess Porkline's actually pretty important in elven-human relations. Alright, well, bye Illuminata. The event actually isn't over quite yet. Now it's time to follow Porkline. Because remember, there are a few elves in town. Well, Illuminata is actually one of them. But the other one is Margaret. The one who actually works for him. Let's go see what she's up to. Nothing good, apparently. Margaret, are you okay? Well then, let's just go follow her over to the restaurant and make sure this event concludes properly. Once she actually gets into place. Actually, I think the event is over right now, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I think the event is over. That was it. 
yep, that's the event. So yeah, fun fact about that event, it's actually one of the ones that's required to marry Margaret. Because yes, marriage is tied to random town events in this game. Not a very good decision, but oh well. Hopefully we can get the ones for Dylas at some point. Alright, so while we're here, I do want to get a refrigerator, actually. Do I have the materials for this? So an elegant refrigerator, lumber, or stove. No, they both involve lumber. They're also almost exactly the same, but you know what? We can afford it. I'm going to get the elegant one, because we are elegant. Also, that is a very futuristic looking refrigerator, to be honest. Also, while we're here, might as well grab some more recipe bread. Uh, two weapon and two accessory sounds good. Alright, and then get some accessory bread. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can make anything good. Oh! Oh, we just unlocked gloves. Ooh, I need to go see if I can make those right now. Accessory bread, what else can I make? Uh, gold boots? Meh. I don't have access to gold yet. Or pumpkins, for that matter. I might be able to make a skill vest. I need to go see what that uh, involves. Chaos shield? I might be able to make that. And what else can I make? A short dagger. And a frost edge. Actually, that could be pretty good against the boss now that I think about it. Meh, I think my aqua blade is good enough right now. Alright, so let's take this home. No delivery people in this town, though. Gotta bring it home ourselves. Now, the question is, where do I want to put my refrigerator? Uh, here, I guess, would be the best place. It's kind of blocked the door, but that's okay. But yeah, now that we finally have a refrigerator, we can finally put away half the stuff I've been carrying around with me. Oh, so much inventory space has been freed up because of this thing. There we go. Also, yeah, while we're here, let me just make sure I put away that headband. Oh, I also don't need that shield anymore, I guess. Or those, or... Nope, that's it. Alright then. Shiny new refrigerator. Yeah, it's kind of blocked the entrance. Let's move it a bit. Uh, where would be a better place for it? I guess we could just stick it here for now. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it there for now. I'll move it again later once I have some more room. But to get more room, I need more materials and more money. Oh, right. I'm sealed. I forgot. Thanks, Nancy. Sorry about that. Yeah, I completely forgot that my skills were sealed off for a second there. Oh, well. But yeah, town event is done. I think. Actually, let me just go double check to make sure that town event is complete. Yep, it's complete. Alright then. So the farm is looking good. Yeah, farm is looking good. The... What is it? We did all the exploring south of the field, of uh, the water ruins. Is there anything else I need to for Is there anything else I need to do today? I'm still waiting on those charm blues, I believe. Yeah, I'm still waiting on those charm blues, darn it. Actually, I'm gonna go check the autumn field real quick. I always see how much spinach is doing. Also, while I'm there, I might as well collect as much lumber and stone as I can. So off to the autumn ruins. Or not autumn ruins, autumn field. Uh, looks like they're growing nicely. Yeah, let's get back all that lumber we just used up. There are plenty of sticks here, at least. Not a ton of stone, though. I might have to go somewhere else to get the stone. Also, I'm getting a ton of lumber experience. Or lumberjacking experience. Also, I need to grab these weeds, too. Gotta put those in the fertilizer bin. Uh, dried grass is always good to keep my soil healthy. And, yeah, let's just grab the rest of the wood. There's a couple of stones here, but not that many. Plenty of lumber, though. I forget just how much lumber I need to upgrade my house. Sorry, not house. My room. Yeah, that's still kind of one thing I'm not a big fan of in this game. The fact that you don't really get a house so much as you just kind of get someone's den. I mean, technically, I could just use the entire town as my house and just put all my furniture all over the place and they won't mind, but it's still kind of weird. Oh, well. Anyways, let's put away all that lumber. Actually, I'm curious about something. How much longer until these charm blues are done? Uh, they are at 83%, so another day or two and they should be good. Alright, that's not bad.
There we go. Oh, wait one second. There we go. Wood done. All right, and then let's just put away the weeds. How much fertilizer do I have at the moment? 14. Uh, that should be enough for a few more days. Fodder is looking good. Animals are looking okay. Actually, you know what? Let's give everyone a good brushing. I forget, did I brush? I didn't brush you guys yet, did I? Okay. Nope. Okay. okay, I didn't brush some of you guys, apparently. I'm just gonna let Wool keep his wool for now. Uh, did I give you a good brushing yet? I really should re okay. recruit more monsters. We have plenty of room. Oh, well. Anyways, oh, oh wait, no, no, wait, no, I already gave her a flower, never mind. For a second there, I thought I forgot, wait, did I give her a flower? It's been a few days since I recorded the last episode, one second. Let me just double check to make sure that I gave her something for her birthday. Where is she? Amber, where are you? I think that's her at the item shop, I can't tell. No, that's not her sprite, that's Blossom Sprite. She might be at the restaurant? It's kind of crowded over there. Amber, where are you? Oh no, I lost her. I forgot- oh! One second, I need to go fishing. I need to make some sashimi for Dionys. I keep forgetting, and I'm not gonna forget anymore. Amber? Oh god, I think we lost Amber. Or is she at the castle? Oh yeah, there she is. I see her now. Hi, Amber. That makes no sense. No oh, right, the wings thing. I'm pretty sure butterfly wings don't react well with water. Yeah. Iron leaf is something we'll see much later, but that seems like... That seems a horrible thing to make a brooch out of. Oh, right. No, no, wait, no, I did give her a present today, because I put away all my flowers afterwards. Okay, I think we're good. But yeah, Iron Leaf. We will get to know Iron Leaf later. Anyways, let's do a bit of fishing and cooking and crafting, and then we'll call it a day. Alright, so we need to get a fish that we can actually make food out of. Let's see, what do we got here? We might as well also work on our fishing skill, because, eh, why not? Fishing is always a good thing to have. Oh, good, squid. We can make sashimi out of that one. Let's do it. Alright, so we can make some, where is it, squid sashimi. There we go. Dionys will love this. Oh, whoops, Dionys will not love that. I think I just killed my table. Uh-oh. It's fine. Yeah, that can happen. I completely forgot about that and I tried- I forgot that you don't have it in your hands after you make it, so... I tried to put it away and I accidentally blew away my knife set. It's fine, it respawned. Oh, for a second there I completely- I got a bit scared that it wouldn't respawn. Okay, let's be careful with our magic from now on. Also, while I'm here, uh, we could make ourselves some new gloves, I think. Are they any good? I mean, I know they're good. And I know I can make them right now, oh my god. 172 attack versus... 130... Wait, 133 versus what was it again? 133... 170 was it? 172. Yeah, those are some really good gloves. I won't be able to use a shield at that point, but... I could make these, like, right now. Oh, dare I? I dare. We were a short sword user for a bit, but I think it's time that I need to... One second. My forging skill isn't high enough to put all that stuff on right now. Darn it. Is there anything I can just stick on there that's easy? Sticks. I can just stick on a bunch of sticks for an extra three attack. Oh, but I would love that paralysis attack. Here, one second. What, what would it cost me to just put one on? Oh no, my forging skill still isn't high enough. Darn it. Here, one second. If we're gonna make gloves, we're gonna make them right. I think I can also make myself some new dual blades, right? I could make- oh wait, no I can't. I don't have the materials- I don't have any of the materials for that one. 
I could make myself some short daggers. And by myself, I mean my party members who use short blades. Alright, was that enough now? What is it going to cost me now that I gain another level? Gloves. Okay. So if I stick like... Where is it? It's in storage. If I stick a piece of spider thread on there... 153. I can do that. Can't do that, but I can put one more on there and then just stick some sticks on or something. Okay, sounds good. That being said, I do need some more RP. Uh, can I eat anything right now? I don't have any food on me. Can I make some food real quick? Probably not with a knife, but maybe with the cooking table? That's the medicine table. Yeah, it's getting a bit crowded in here. Oh, I can make myself some pickled turnips. 100 RP should be enough. Whoops. I really need to stop doing that every single time. Alright, that should be... That should do. Oh, let's make these. These aren't gloves. I got so angry I tried to fish up my forge. It's because I always push B too many times. I don't know why. Anyways, gloves. Alright, so let's stick on... The... A piece of spider thread. Yeah, just one. And then just like two sticks or something. That should do. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. I forgot to put on the heart pendant. Oh, well. Oh. Hello, boxing gloves. You're gonna hurt some stuff very good. A hundred Yeah, that's on a 40 attack upgrade. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, I think we're ready for the boss now. I'm kind of a glass cannon at this point, but you know what? It's fine. If I can kill it fast enough, it doesn't matter. Plus, I'm just gonna bring some people with me to basically distract the boss. Anyways, we don't really have the stamina to do anything else tonight, so let's just go to bed. Right after I give Dionysus sashimi. What you up to? Uh, what's your birthday? When's your birthday? Great. Can I get any information out of you? What's your favorite food? Okay. How about what foods don't you like? Great. Well, let's just go directly for it. What's your type? Huh? Yeah, he's uh, still not the best of friends with me. I can fix that, though. I don't think we're gonna get any other good responses, are we? Nope. Okay. We'll break through that shell of his at some point, but for now, it's time for bed. I did it. I got better at sleeping. Good morning. Oh, is it Rooney weather? It's Rooney weather. Oh, you know what that means? Oh, the charm blues are done. That should be enough charm blues, I hope. Yeah, that's more than enough charm blues. Oh, look at all the crops that are ready today. Actually, what level are these? They're still level one. Here, you know what? I'm gonna chop the rest of these down with the sickle. Oh, is the corn ready too? Oh, I think the corn is ready. Also, I'm not charging this thing up when I'm surrounded by actual crops. And the rest we're just gonna sell. For money. Oh my god, there are so many runes now. I love Rooney Day. That means more plants for everyone. Okay, and I think the corn is ready too. Yep, corn is ready. Oh, actually with this, we can probably do a couple requests real quick before we end the episode. I didn't mean to pick that. Darn it. Oh well, I still have some level 4 seeds. I'm fine. Here, let's get everything planted then. Uh, before the animals come out. And by animals, I mean monsters. Same thing. And then let's plant, like, a single piece of corn in the corner there. And then we have some turnips. Or not turnip. No, yeah, turnips. Turnips and more charm blues. There we go. And then we'll just let the monsters take care of the rest. 
All right, sounds good. I'm just gonna grab all of these too. We'll let some of the soil rest for now though. Oh, but yeah, that should be enough charm boost to get that request done. And now we can go buy more flowers. I think I'm gonna go do that later. All right, what else can I do right now? Uh, race shipment rates. I'm still not sure if we have enough yet. I might go check that later. Right of, ooh, we could do that one. That's actually pretty easy. Have we? No, we haven't harvested cherry grass. I think that's one of the new flowers we just unlocked. I don't think we've harvested five flowers yet, have we? No, I don't think so. Haven't done that yet. We could do that one, actually. Let's till some corn. So yeah, corn is an actual is actually a very good crop. Because grown corn is pretty much like withered grass. If you till it into the soil, it increases the health. And it actually increases it by quite a bit. It's one of the best things to use. Other than like four-leaf clovers, if you want to revitalize soil. Here, let's go do that right now then. Let me find a good place of piece of soil that's kind of low on health. So what are we at right now? 64, 64, 6. Okay, everything is actually pretty healthy. This one could use a bit of work. Yeah, this side of the field is a bit exhausted. Here, let's do it right here. Let's fertilize the corn with some corn. Oh, actually no, before I forget. I almost forgot in all my excitement. I should probably, you know, actually ship the things I harvested. That would be good. Actually, I'm gonna keep those. I'm also gonna keep a few charm blues just in case. And obviously we need to keep the corn. But yeah, corn. Basically use it just like, uh, what is it called? Withered grass. Put it down. And use the hoe. So actually, wait, what's the uh, health of this thing before? 46. And then after tilling in some soil, or not soil, tilling in some corn, it goes up to... 196. Yeah, corn gives you a massive health boost. So it's good if you have, like, soil that's completely dying. Just put a bit of corn on it, and it will come back to life and then some. These aren't done yet, right? Nope. Okay, let's go turn this in. I think this actually unlocks even more flower seeds. Yep. Oh, no, no. More normal seeds. Perfect. We have so many seeds we can plant now. Uh, we can pick up one more request. What can we do? Oh, I, if I only had some carrots to give him, I would. Sorry, Dylas. I can't do that one yet. Actually, I might be able to do that one in a few days. Same with that one. Ship radishes. Eh. Here, you know what? We could do this one real quick. Actually, no. Before we do that, I want to check my shipment rate. If it's over 10%, I want that just to get a bigger backpack. Good morning. What is my rate at the moment? It is... 7. Never mind. It's gonna be a little while. I need to ship more stuff. Alright, in that case, let's just ride on a monster friend. Of course it would be Forte. Actually, why would it be Forte? She doesn't seem like a big monster person to me. Don't tell me what to do, Forte. I'm gonna ride my Wooly. Actually, in this game, you can ride the Wooly. They're surprisingly large. Like, it's almost as tall as I am. We can't ride the chicken, though. I remember trying that. Actually, wait. Since I've done this before... Can I just turn this in immediately? Yep. I already did it. There we go. And as a reward, we get Iron Waltz. I completely forget what this skill does. What does this skill do again? Powers up allies' monsters' defense until the end of the day. Not bad. Not bad at all. But anyways, I think I'm getting the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 4. I don't know what happened to my phrasing and inflection there, but anyways. Next time, we're gonna go buy every single one of the new seeds, get them all planted, and then go kill that giant flower in the fire dungeon. So, till then. Who's a good wooly?